Hi, I'm Phyllis, southernfrugal.com. I want to share with y'all today about the uh, Walmart rotisserie chicken. Uh, we buy those maybe, I don't know, sometimes once a week. And um, what we're able to do is get eight servings from the one chicken. Of course, it's just the two of us, so it works out really well. Those chickens in our area are $4.98 and they come from the white skin chickens. They're smaller and they're very tender. So uh, what we do is when I first get the chicken, which is usually on grocery day, um, we usually have it with some um, dressing. Now I did save some of the dressing from um, Thanksgiving or Christmas, I can't remember. Uh, in, in, in serving sizes for me and Mr. Bucky. And so when we get the chicken, I just, we have the chicken breast and the dressing, we just do the whole nine yards, cream potatoes and peas or green beans. And then what's left, the two dogs get the uh, meat that's on the leg. And what, what I do is just pick that off because, you know, that leg has that really sharp little bone in it, plus the dogs wouldn't get a bone anyway. But I pick that off, and they can, they can get that in mixed with their food for probably three, sometimes four uh, servings. So it, basically, then what I do is take the thigh and any other meat, the wing meat, and there's a, on the backbone, there's this little, we call them the oyster of the chicken. It's a little bitty round thing, about that big around, that's lean, dark meat. And um, I put that uh, in a freezer bag and freeze it. Now, uh, sometimes when we have the chicken, I go ahead and fix some gravy using some uh, chicken stock and I make, I put a cooking sherry in it. So this is how I label this one on the uh, 5th of January. And so the gravy is already in here and all I have to do is just add a little water to it. So this is uh, thigh meat and any other little meat that was on the bone other than the chicken legs. That's what the dogs get. And then I take the carcass that's left and the skin and go ahead and boil it for about an hour. And then I have uh, some chicken stock that I can use for soup and usually use it for like cauliflower soup or broccoli soup, something like that. And uh, anyway, all right, so we're ready to get this meal going, which is only going to take a short time. I got to sneeze. Hold on. All right, we're back. All right, so we're also going to have with this meal two of the cinnamon biscuits and I've done a video on those, so we're just going to have one of those. We're also having some of the uh, small frozen uh, green peas. And so what I'm going to do is put this in the skillet to just warm it up. And of course, in the bag, I freeze it really flat so it thaws out super fast. You can actually just put these bags down in water and thaw them out. So that's that gravy. Now the, the gravy is just uh, made with uh, a little butter, equal amounts of butter and flour, and I add some chicken stock if I have it, but if I don't, I just still make it and use water, and uh, I add a little bit of cooking sherry to it, just because it makes really great gravy. A little more water in there. All right, so we're going to heat this up really good. So also, I wanted to mention with the chicken stock, I usually get um, four cups of chicken stock from boiling the bones and the skin and all that. And uh, I can also make egg drop soup, which we make a lot. And it's not, uh, when you make your own chicken stock, of course, it's not nearly as salty as just using uh, chicken bouillon. So anyway, I'm, we've got our peas going, our rice is almost done, and uh, I think I'm going to serve some cranberry sauce with this, the kind from Aldi. All right, we'll be back and show you what it looks like on the plate. This is going to be a really quick meal. All right, we've got our meal ready, and it only took about 20 minutes, 
and that was mostly because of the rice. So we're having whole berry cranberry sauce, some uh, green peas, and this is one of those cinnamon biscuits, and here's the rice and the chicken. Right there's that little oyster of the chicken I was telling you about on the back. Here's my plate, and there's my little oyster right there. All right, y'all. So we're ready to eat. Mr. Bucky's been working in the yard again, and I've been working on chair cushions. So we will see y'all next time. Bye for now.